Hello, hello, it's Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and we are back to work on the Countryside 49 and Market Journal. Um, it's the Countryside Journal made with um, a base of file folders, two, um, because we have two sections. Um, and we are working on this piece right here because we're going to put in one of the Rachel at Roxy Creations uh, document folders right here. So I want to get this piece covered and then I will cover this piece after we put in the um, the brads. Okay? Alright, and then our brads will also serve as a, we'll have a little brad or something over here and it will serve as a tie for keeping this flat. So it's not doing that. Okay, so what I did was I slipped this under here nice and tight and I traced around this section. So I'm going to cut that out. And I really should cut in this direction so I can cut just inside the paper, inside the pencil line. So that it will fit, we hope. We hope it will fit. On here, just fine. I'm going to have to cut from this direction. On some of it because otherwise I'm not going to get it. Okay, let's have a peek. Um, not very good, but it will work. <laughs> uh oh, I got a sneeze. Excuse me. <coughs> oh. I am so sorry. Um, okay, well, I think that'll work because I can always trim it just a little bit to fit this better. Okay, so let's ink around it. Just like this and that, a little of this, a little of that. Rub a dub dub on the ink pad. So, welcome everybody. It's so good to have you all here. I want to welcome my new subscribers. Hello, hello, hello. And I want to thank you for becoming subscribers to my channel. I sure appreciate it. And I want to say thank you to my regular subscribers for still being here with me and hanging out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. So, to new people stopping by, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it helps my algorithm. You know, we want to help each other's algorithm. <laughs> Who knew we'd be talking algorithm, you know? <laughs> anyway, helps my algorithm go up so that YouTube thinks I'm doing a good job. Well, I hope I'm doing a good job. I'm trying. So, let me repoke a hole in this because I left the room and left this. 
unplugged. Anyway, don't forget, like and subscribe. That's what we like around here. Well, I just like you visiting with me too, so please leave comments. I'd love to answer them. Try to answer every one. And if I miss one, I sure will go back and catch it, even if it's months later by accident. My fingers up on there, huh? Top to bottom, bottom to top. There we go. Need to put something firm under there. Just going to slide that under. So that I can push that down good. There we go. Get all that gluey stuff off of there. And I do want to come up here and trim this just a little bit right here. Hope I don't slice into it and make it look really bad. Whew, I did it. Okay, and now I'm going to straighten this one up just a little bit. And then we'll, we'll ink it if necessary. There. Looks good. Yay. Okay. The next thing we need to do is put this away so it's out of my way. And we should probably have a drink of hot cocoa coffee. I love hot cocoa coffee and it's so cold here that hot cocoa coffee sounds like just the thing to have. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I have um, a Folgers coffee in here. I can't think of what it's called. It's an 1890 brand of theirs. It's not my favorite because I, I haven't seen my favorite, which is the Pioneer blend. This is, I don't know, an Oregon Trail blend or something. Something like that, don't know. I quit keeping track. And normally I don't drink coffee in the afternoon, but today it's so cold, I absolutely have to. Excuse my slurping, but it's so much better that way. Don't you know what I mean? So, what are we going to do here? We are going to first make our... Um, our whatchamacallit, our document holder. So I have some paper here. Let's see. This is uh, Rachel Roxy Creations. I want to see if I have anything I double-sided in here. I don't. Let me keep looking. Hang on. I have a couple other brands, um, businesses. Journalocity is one of them. And who was my other one? Oh, there it is. Vintage and History. Is this one. So, I think what we'll do is, I, I think we'll use one of these papers. They're kind of a heavyweight paper. And I think we'll go with Rachel's collection here. And we will start by finding the one we want to create our document holder out of. That one will go that way. But if we go this way, it kind of reads a little better for us this way. Um, but 
Will we just leave it blank inside? Hmm. Or do we want it to go this way? And then we'll decorate the outside with some of our paper. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do you do? Well, I think this would match nicely, wouldn't it? I think that's going to be an inside paper. Um. I would use the 49 and mark it, but to be honest with you, it's too heavy for this. Um, so it's going to have to be one of these papers. Now, here is a nice bluey green one. And I think what we'll do is we'll even up the edges and we'll put one on the inside as well. Um, now I also have, hang on, a couple other papers here that we could use. I have these. These are not as thick as the others. Oh, now this might actually go with this. And... Then we would have this nice journaling area on the inside with maybe some flowers. I think so. I think that's what we're going to do. We still need something like that. Well, now we do have this one that's already cut. Oh, but it's tags on the inside, which, well, could work because then it would give them plenty of things to cut out and use in the journal if they wanted to open this up and use all the pieces out of it. But I think not. I think it's this one we're going to use. So I want the flower. And... The first thing we're going to need to do is to probably clip this off with the hole in it. Well, we, no, I don't want to use it because it's too round. Too big. It's too large. I can move some stuff out of the way. Better set my timer. There we go. I always start it late. I always forget. It's like, do I have to have a timer? Yes, Angela, you do. There we go. Now, we want this on there. And we want journaling space. Set that right there for now. Bring this back over. Our document file is going to be inside the journal here. So let's have a look at where it would be best. Um, it's going to be up in here somewhere. So I'm going to... Um, how about we put it there to there? Okay, we'll cut this off. We're going to leave our length because we might need it. Nice piece of journaling card there. 
Okay, now to make the document file, if I remember right, we fold this one over, oh, maybe about that far. What do you think? You think that's about right? I'm going to give it a good crease. And hopefully it's fairly even, you know. I'm going to come up here and really ink that up because the paper did crack. And we're going to um, I don't know if we're going to round anything yet, so um, just let's hang on to that top for just a little bit. And we'll need to ink it up here. I'm trying to go fast. That's why it's so noisy. Okay, I gotta pull, pull my chair up a little bit. And we're going to flip it over and ink the back. doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. No perfection here. The only time I feel like I have to have perfection is when I've applied something and it's totally wacko. <clears throat> and the reason I feel like I have to, you know, fix it. Now, <clears throat> our brads are going to go clear through this and clear through this piece here. Okay? Now we don't want it to interfere with our pocket here, so we don't want our brads to interfere or um, hit this edge. So probably we should keep the brads inside of this area, if we can. Okay. Now I think probably um, we should just make sure it's even along here and that it's even between here and here. Okay, now we need some ephemera to go into it. So we're going to put this piece in there for sure. But look, it's way too wide. Oh no, we knew that. I'm just kidding around. Uh, but that's what this is for. And we may end up tearing some of the words, unfortunately. This was from her digital collection. And the nice thing about the digitals is that I can reprint them if I need more. And I love that idea. Um, it makes it quite nice to be able to do that. Okay, that one fits. Now it's okay if they're too long because we'll fix that. Um, let's put this one in there. That'll make a nice piece of ephemera. Now this ephemera in this journal doesn't have to be used for this journal. It can be actually used for any other journal. So, you know, it's kind of up to the owner what they want to do with it. I'm going to tear that off at the bottom because we don't need the little bit down there showing. I should do that to the other one actually because Right now it's just kind of straight. So let's see if we can tear very carefully just along that bottom. I'm going to have to hold this down pretty, pretty firmly. There we go. Okay. 
Now, is it okay if the paper pokes out? Yes, definitely. It is definitely okay. And, um, how about this one? Let me move Rachel's name over. And we'll put that. Well, we don't need too many documents in there. What we need is just some ephemera pieces. So let me save some of this. And I have a drawer back here with lots of ephemera pieces. And we have music. We have receipts. Um, drink to me with only thine eyes. Oh, I don't know if I like that song. What's, what's this one? Bullfinch Moody's. Buy a broom. Oh, that's a good one for me. Buy a broom! Fine, I will. You just watch me. So we have that. We have that. Um, maybe, maybe something a little smaller. Um, oh, let's look here. <clears throat> oh, I love these. Let's go with like this one. And. Oh, here's a nicey. That's a pretty one. Now we could offset those a little bit like that. That'd be okay. And I think that's the same size. So we don't need that one. Um, how about... That might be about the same size, too. Maybe not that one. Ooh, there's a map. What do we think of maps? You can see these are white on the back. Map would have to go under that one. Um, I'm coming up here to these. How about... How about one of these butterfly ones? Now, if we go with this instead, um, the already kind of a collaged butterfly, we might be able to just catch those under there and not <clears throat> not poke holes in the you know where it, it, it would ruin the whole butterfly thing. So first I'm going to get these together and then I want to get all these together and I think maybe we'll put the butterfly like that. Just something like that. And then Instead of tucking this all the way up, I think we'll bring it down a little bit and put our holes right in here somewhere. So what I want to do then, if that's the case, is we probably will want to poke a hole right in there and a hole somewhere right over in here. Same distance. But let's start with this one. We'll need our hole puncher. Now we could do um, a small hole punch because we're going to put a brad in it. Are we going to do brads? Or are we going to do an eyelet? Oh, I don't know now. I think we'll do the brad. Well, either... Oh, what should I do, you guys? Brads or eyelets? 
you know, the eyelets would actually be better because they would hold that down pretty good. And that would allow this part to tuck in up here. So I think we're going to have to go to the large hole punch. And instead of right down there, I'm going to hole punch right above that one. Right there. And I want to find that other one. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. So I want to punch that through there and just hang on to it for a second. Okay. And move this to right there. Okay. I'm just going to poke that through there for right this second so I can straighten out all my papers again. And now what we want to do is figure out how far that is. Measuring Carol. That is um, to the center. It is two and seven eighths. So if we come in two and seven eighths right in here somewhere. Oh, I did it again. Look at that. I keep messing it up, you guys. Put this one back in there. It's going to help me hold it all together. I should have just put a clamp on it, huh? Oh, not that one now. We need to use this one because we have it set up for for hole punching. Oh, I hope I left enough room there. If not, we get to make a second one. So I'm going to clamp that one and clamp that one. Now the idea behind, oh no, did you see what I did? I forgot. Oh well, we're going to adhere it with glue. We weren't going to. We were going to adhere the whole thing down with um, brads. Oopsie daisy. Okay, well, we can glue it. Um, really, it would have worked so much better the other way, Angela. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. Okay, so let's fold this up just a little bit here. And then we'll fold this up just a little bit like this. And we will squish that down and ink it up. Because that's what we like to do. And then the rest of it is going to come up here. It will slip under here. Nice. Slip it under nice and tight. Just in case we didn't make it long enough. Like me. <laughs> it's really not a struggle. Yeah. I should have put these up a little higher because it makes it just a little weak there. But we'll have a tie down on it. And that was why we were going to use the eyelets. Ha! Now I remember. OK. 
Okay. So we have our document holder. And it is going to go right here. But what are we going to do about this? Oh, dear. And that could go that way. No. That will have to go this way. Ooh. But if that envelope could tuck under there, that would hold the whole thing down. So, what could we do? We could add our brads here and here. And then that would just slip into them. But look at that. I mean, that holds the whole thing, except for this. But this isn't going anywhere unless this flap opens. Um, I don't want to take these out. Let's see. I guess we'd have to put a fourth one in here and here. Um, thinking. Do we make a new one and do it correct? I don't know. Hang on, let me think about it. 